All right, good evening everyone. Welcome to tonight's webinar and thank you for joining. We've had a, a busy week of presentations and webinars, actually a busy few weeks, but this is the last one for a little while. I'll uh, get back to doing more YouTube videos and that sort of thing. But tonight we're going to talk about the Stock Scores Trader Training Options, the Active Trader and the Investor Program. I just want to lay out what these different courses include, what the upcoming live training includes. A couple times a year I do live training. For the first time in five years, I'm actually going to teach a live class in a room face-to-face -face with my students. I haven't done that in a while. And so we'll just talk about all that tonight. So the itinerary for this evening, I'll give a little bit of background on how I came to be a uh, teacher of trading in addition to being a trader why it's important i think to get a trading education we'll talk about the stock scores tools the stock scores education center i'll then go through what is the investor course what is in it what what i teach the active trader course same thing what's in that course what you get i'll talk about the focus live sessions that i'm doing in calgary and vancouver in may show you how to register for the courses either of them and then at the end, we'll maybe do a market scan or two and uh, just basically walk through the process that you would go if you take the course to actually putting that material to work. All right. So my background in teaching as a as a trader, I started teaching over 20 years ago. I started trading over 30 years ago. And there's a little bit of a story behind that. I, I used to run a club of investors in Calgary, where I lived at the time. And in that club, um, I, uh, I don't know, had two or 300 members. And on a monthly basis, we would do presentations. I did most of them. And I just found that I really enjoyed it. And I liked sharing what I knew about trading. As much as uh, I love trading, I like talking about trading. I like teaching trading. And I think I'm a good teacher. And I've had people say that I'm a pretty good teacher. So it's, it's something I've done for a long time. You know, when you're a trader, you spend a lot of time alone uh, with a screen in front of you. And I enjoy just the socialization of having students who ask me. I also think that it makes me a better trader because people ask me questions that make me really think about what they're asking me. And, and a lot of times I get some new ideas for strategies or ways to improve my process, ways to make my strategies more effective. So I've benefited a lot from, from teaching. Or my, my trading has benefited a lot. So who do I teach? Most of my students are retail investors. I've also been hired by brokerages to teach their clients. I've been hired by stock brokerages to teach their staff. I was hired a couple times to by institutional investors to teach some of their traders. So like I said, most of my students are you know regular people trying to manage their retirement portfolios or become career traders. But I've also done it with institutions and, and professional traders as well. Uh, a, a few different brokerages have hired me to train their staff and, and a couple of pension funds hired me to do some work with their traders. So whether you're just starting out, whether you've never traded a stock in your life or whether you are the most sophisticated of traders, I think there are things that I can do to help you uh, be successful. And that's ultimately my goal. I, I get a lot of joy out of hearing success stories from my students. And uh, when when one of those emails hits me, it, you know, I send it to my wife and, you know, we it it, it adds some some uh, thing that you can't get from money, I guess, is is one of the things. There's a lot of gratitude that I have for the feedback that I get from people who are succeeding with what I've taught them. All right. So let's get into why I think you should get a trading education. And that's whether you get it from me or anyone else. Stock trading and investing, they're simple, but they're not easy. I think a lot of people think, oh, I can day trade. You just open an account and buy and sell stock. That's sort of like saying I can do open heart surgery. To an open heart surgeon who's learned how to do it and practiced, it's probably pretty simple. Maybe not easy, but it is simple. But with open heart surgery, there's a barrier to entry, which stops people that don't know how to do it from doing it. You know, anyone can open a brokerage account and go and start trading. You could open a brokerage account and start trading tomorrow without any kind of education. But fortunately, no one can just start doing open heart surgery. No one can practice law. No one 
can be a professional hockey player unless they have gone through a process of learning how to do it. And I think I wish that regulators would set up some barriers to entry for people to prevent them from trading until they've learned how to do it. Because I think a lot of people start out, they don't know what they're doing, and then they end up losing money. And that's a pain that you shouldn't have to feel. The market will teach you what you need to know, but those lessons are expensive and they're time consuming. I spent eight years learning how to trade. I made a lot of mistakes and it cost me a lot of money. It's hard to make good decisions without confidence and having someone who knows what they're doing to ask questions of, to get the opinion on different trade ideas, that helps a lot towards confidence and ending uncertainty. And so I really um, want to remind people that when I teach them how to trade, it's not just videos and, and lessons and, and the different services that we offer. It's the support through the learning process that I think helps a lot towards success. You know, I've got a lot of experience. Like I said, I've made every mistake in the book. I've had great successes, but I've also had failures and I've learned from those failures and I can help you to avoid some of the mistakes that I've made. If you listen to what I tell you to do and if you ask me questions along the way, I think your learning process will be way faster, way more enjoyable, and ultimately you'll get to success quicker. So what are the Stock Scores tools? Well, the primary tool that we offer at Stock Scores is the market scan. I'm just going to quickly go back to this. I know I've shown this in most of my videos recently, but I'll just show it again. This is the market scan tool. It has all these filters that we can use to scan the market for trading opportunities. You can set this tool up however you like. However, we have I have created preset scans for you based on different strategies. So if you were a position trader wanting to look for stocks to buy in your retirement savings account in, uh, in Canada, let's say, focused on the Canadian market, you might run the stock score simple. Run that scan, look at the charts, look for the right kind of patterns that I teach you to look for. I don't see anything today. That's the process. Then you might choose to run a different scan. You might choose to run the um, action break scan. Action candle breaks, run the market scan. This is more of a shorter term position trading scan. But again, I'm looking for very specific patterns in these charts trying to find those that have the best potential. And it's just a simple process. It doesn't take very long once you learn how to do it. It takes a little bit of practice, of course, but um, really anyone can do it. There's no requirement of in-depth knowledge of finance. You just have to learn my, my rules and, and I'll teach you that in the educational material that I'll show you later. So the other tools, we have charting on stock scores. So you can pull up any chart. If you wanted to pull up a Canadian stock, you have to put a prefix in front of the symbol. So if I wanted to look at Aurora Cannabis, I would type in t.acb. The t dot is for the Canadian market. Um, I've got my charts set to intraday charts. That's why these charts were looking funny. I thought something's wrong here. Let me just change this. I was, we did a webinar last night and I was doing this different time frame. So let's make this eight months instead of eight or a few days of um, data. Let me just change that here. And that's one of the things you can do with these charts is set them for intraday, daily time frame, lots of different things. So there you go. There's a chart of Aurora Cannabis. We have here the price chart. We have volume. And then we have the stock scores indicators. We use the stock scores indicators for some of the position trading strategies. So the stock score simple strategy relies on the stock scores indicators. Other strategies actually require that the stock scores not be that high because we're trying to find stocks that have really been beat up and are likely to turn. So we use the stock scores in different ways. Originally, when I first built the stock scores, the idea was that the sentiment stock score, which is the green line on the chart, had to be above 60 and the signal line had to be above 80. And those are the rules for the stock scores simple strategy. But for the action break strategy, we actually want stock scores to be low because we're looking for stocks breaking downward trends. And if a stock is in a downward trend, it will have a lower stock score. So we use them in a variety of ways. All right, so that's the uh, charts. If you wanted to pull up a US listed stock, you type in the symbol. I can type in NFLX up here in the top of the screen and hit enter. And there's a chart for Netflix. This is a 240 day chart. If I wanted to make it a three year chart, I could do that. 
If I wanted to make it a intraday chart going back 10 days, I could do that. So you've got lots of options, different time frames, and you can really switch them quickly with these fast link buttons up at the top of the chart. Now, it really fits with my educational approach because when I'm looking at a stock that I want to consider for a purchase, I look at it on multiple time frames. I will look at it, uh, let's say I'm doing a scan on the daily, I will then also look at the weekly chart and maybe even the intraday chart. So that's why we have those fast links at the top of the chart to make that that much quicker. All right, next tool, risk calculator. We need to know how many shares to buy and um, that requires a little bit of a calculation. So the risk calculator allows us to do that. Let's say we're gonna buy a stock at $10 our stop loss price is going to be at $9 and we are going to risk uh, $150 on the trade and we pay $10 in commissions. Click on submit and it tells us the number of shares to buy, 140 shares. Once we have entered the trade, we could say, okay, I bought at 140 shares at $10. My exit price ultimately was $13.20. And my stop loss price was $9. I paid $10 in commissions. Click on submit. And it then calculates the reward for risk ratio that I have earned. So it's a handy little tool. Again, it fits in with the methodology that I teach, which is heavily, uh, emphasize, heavily emphasizes risk management, capital preservation, those things that we've talked about in the past. We also have a trading simulator where you can practice trading. For my active trader, students, I provide them with my proprietary indicators for TradeStation. I showed that in the day trader webinar that we did, uh, was it Wednesday? Yesterday, yeah, I did the day trader webinar yesterday. That's been uploaded to YouTube, so if you go to the Stock Scores YouTube channel, you can watch that presentation and any of the other presentations that I've done recently. And then the final tool is the Active Live daily webinar. I created this tool for my day traders and swing traders. The idea was to not require that you know how to use TradeStation because it's a pretty sophisticated program. Not everyone has the time to learn it or the desire to learn how to use it. And really using TradeStation yourself takes even more focus. The Active Live daily webinar allows you to watch my TradeStation screen as I'm running my analytics on it. And I talk my way or talk our way through the through the open to find the best trading opportunities, give you my thoughts, answer your questions. It's just hand-holding as you learn how to be a day trader. And it's a great tool because you can see things as they happen. And I'll show you that in just a moment. All right, the Stock Scores Education Center is another important part of the Stock Scores website. It has the lessons, videos, assignments, tests for the different educational levels that we have. So again, if I jump back to the Stock Scores website, go to Trader Training Education Center, because I'm logged in and I am a member, an active trader member, I have access to everything. So I can read the theory. This is the lessons on theory. We have written lessons, we have videos, we have assignments, and we have tests. All of this is designed to teach you the core theories that you need to understand so that you can trade my strategies. Once you've learned that, give yourself a few hours to get through that material, you are then ready to study the strategies. I recommend you study one or two strategies when you're getting started. So if you were a position trader, I would emphasize the abnormal break strategy or the um, action break strategy. Those are the two that I think I would emphasize to start. If you are a longer term position trader, you don't want to do this on a daily basis, but instead on a weekly basis, then I would use the stock score simple weekly strategy. Again, for each, there is a lesson and a video. There's no assignment or test because ultimately the assignment and the test is simply to practice looking for opportunities, following them, gauging your performance, measuring your performance with our trading simulator. All of that is included when you're a member of stock scores. Then we have the active trader strategies. And so again, if I was to pick my favorite, for a swing trader, it would be the simple swing. And for the day trader, it would be the day trader strategy. We like to use the intraday pullbacks to add to winning positions. But again, everything has a lesson and a video where I walk you through the process. You can watch the video 100 times if you like. But most importantly, if you 
find that you need some help, you have questions, you don't understand something, I give a very personalized level of service to make sure that I'm there for you to answer your questions when you have them. All right, so what is in the investor course? So we have two course options. The investor course is for those who don't want to day trade or swing trade. It's for the person maybe wanting to manage their retirement portfolio. Um, you know, try to earn extra return on your money so that you can get to retirement that much quicker. It gives you access to the foundation lessons in the Stock Scores Education Center. That's all the theory, right? So everything in here. It also gives you access to the investor strategies. It gives you access to the market scans for investors. So if I go back to the market scan tool and start to pull up here. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why it's slow all of a sudden. Let's try this again. There we go. Uh, so if you look here, you can see that we have investor scans and you get access to all of these. Now, for you, you'll find that there's no strategy called morning movers. Morning movers is another way to do abnormal breaks. We just do it in the first hour or two. That's why that's there. It's just a looser, has looser requirements than the abnormal breaks strategy or scans. So as an investor student, you get access to all of that. You get email support from me and you get six months included of access to all of the tools that I've shown you. So the market scan, the risk calculator, the charting, all that stuff. You get six months of that for free, and then you renew for $300 a year. There is an option to renew for $49 a month as well. If you look on some of the information pages on the Stock Scores website, you'll see those two prices. This is really a much better deal. It's half the price of this, but some people prefer to pay monthly, and so we make that option available. The Active Trader course includes everything in the Investor course. So you get the foundation lessons, you get the investor strategies, but then you also get the Active Trader strategies. You get access to not only the investor market scans, but also the Active Trader market scans. Again, you get email support from me. You get six months access to the tools. You get my real-time indicators for TradeStation for those that want to use TradeStation on their own. I will send you my action candle indicator. I've got an inflection point indicator, some trend line indicators, all things that do not come with TradeStation, things that I have had programmed for not only myself to use, but my students to use. Those indicators alone have cost me in programming charges probably $10,000 over the years. I'm guessing, but I think that's probably a conservative estimate. And so when you're my student, you get that stuff included. Uh, and it also makes you eligible for Active Live. The only way that you can participate in Active Live, if you wanted to start on Monday, is to be an Active Trader student. That's the prerequisite. So, what is Active Live? Active Live is my screen in a webinar. You watch my screen as it's running its algorithms and processes automated, it updates in real time constantly throughout the day. It's a live webinar, I'm talking, I don't talk all day, but I talk a lot in the morning and a lot at the end of the day. We go through trade I, uh, trades that I think are good, things that I think should be avoided, whether I think you should be focused on long trades or short trades. Again, if you wanna learn more about Active Live, there is a video on the Stock Scores YouTube channel about that. And there's also in the last day trader webinar that I did yesterday, there's a little bit more information on Active Live as well. But essentially, it's automated instant trade signals using my models. So I'm doing the work. My computer's doing a lot of the work, most of the work, to find the trade so that you can focus on making them. And this service, again, is only available to Stock Scores Active Trader members. So here's how it looks. You have three windows here, plus a, one chart. Uh, this is the long trades, this is the short trades, and these are the swing trades. Swing trades update every 13 minutes with new candidates. The day trades, the long and the short, they're updating in real time constantly. Uh, I drop a new list in every two minutes so that it's always got the best, uh, the, the gainers or the losers, because that's what we're looking for, looking at gainers for the longs, 
losers for the short. So that list is updated every two minutes, but the actual search for these action candles, which is what these are right here with these times, that's happening in real time and it's all automated. So I don't have to do any work. I can let the computer do the work so that I can look at the charts, tell you what I think are good. Maybe say, I don't think this one is good and maybe it's best avoided and answer your questions. Great learning tool, but an even better tool for trading so that you can really focus on making trades instead of you know, trying to click the mouse and move your mouse around your own screen, trying to cut and paste and do the things that I've done for 10 years, 15 years. I've now automated it because the technology has come a long way and it can now be automated and it's awesome. All right, the stock scores focus live. So for the first time in five years, I'm gonna teach a live class again, looking forward to it. We'll be in Calgary Saturday, May 4th, teaching from 8.30 till 4.30, and then Vancouver Saturday, May 11th. This class will not really go into theory, it won't go into the basics. You're, we're gonna do that ahead of time with some webinars, and of course, the online material teaches you that. This class is focused on five different trading scenarios, step-by-step -step processes, for day trading, uh, part-time, day trading full-time, swing trading, position trading short-term, and position trading long-term. There will be a video version available for those that cannot attend the live class. So if you wanted to participate in that class, but you're in Asia or in uh, Toronto, you can just subscribe to the video version and I will send that to you after I've edit it a little bit after the classes. And of course, if you come to the class, you will also get access to that video so that you can rewatch what you learned in the class as often as you like. Those videos will not be open to the general public. It's only for those who register for them. Focus Live again, step-by-step -step process for those five trader scenarios. And there they are listed, the full-time day trader, the part-time day trader, the swing trader, the active position trader, and the longer term position trader. We're not gonna focus on theory so much. We'll do that ahead of time. This class will be focused on the finer details of putting my strategies to work successfully. So if you took my course two years ago and you wanna know all my little tricks to prioritize the best trades, uh, my step-by-step -step processes, how I decide if I'm gonna to add to a winner, how I know when to dump a loser, those are the, the little things that we'll go through and, It'll be a great experience to be able to ask those little questions that you have along the way. And of course, if you've just coming on as a student, it's going to be a great way to get your learning started because uh, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step processes to do this stuff. And I don't know that I will do a live class again ever. Maybe I will in five years again. I, I have no plans, so we'll see how that goes. So which course is right for you? The investor course is for those who don't want to be a full-time or even a part-time trader. They want to really manage their portfolio without making it a job. So you can either spend 15 minutes a day or 15 minutes a week, depending on the strategies that you use. You don't have to do it every day. If you don't do it on a Tuesday, you just don't find something to buy on Wednesday morning. It's, um, it's really up to you. It's very flexible. I have some people that trade just in the spring because that's when markets tend to be the best and they don't trade in December because they're doing something better. I don't know. The active trader course is for those who really enjoy markets, enjoy trading. They can commit more time. They have some flexibility with their time. You know, at a minimum, I think you need to be able to watch the opening half an hour of the day and preferably the final half an hour of the day with swing trades. It's not essential, but it's nice to be able to at least check the market a little bit at the end of the day. But of course, there's also the opportunity to sit in front of your screen all day long, which is what I do most days, and buy and sell stock all day long using the signals that come from Active Live. Really, the Active Trader, because you're active, you're moving your money, um, you're, you're uh, investing more actively, so you're rolling your money over more often, and that allows for higher returns. It's more work, you know, it, it's more of a job. You have to be kind of in tune. It can be a part-time job. You know, as I said, I will walk you through a process to be a part-time day trader where you really do most of your work in the opening half an hour of the trading day. And it's also something where you can do it one day a week if you like, two days a week. That's 
you know, I, I have a number of students who work shift work or um, a, a great example is fire firemen or women. They work uh, four days on, four days off. So they have often days in the middle of the week when they can trade. It's a great uh, way to keep themselves busy when they're not at their normal job. And then finally, the focus live is for those who really want to get committed to learning. I think it'll speed up your learning process. It'll make you better. If you maybe procrastinate a bit, it's going to help you learn it because I'm going to force you to. And for those who want or need the guidance through the process, it's great. I've never had someone come to one of my live classes and tell me it was a waste of time. It really, uh, I think it's a, a great way to learn. But if you don't have the time or you're not in one of those cities, then like I said, we've made that video version available to you. So the learning process starts May 1st. The process is as follows. Register for the course, then review the online material. So go through the Education Center. Attend the overview classes. These are the theory classes that I will do as a webinar. Wednesday, May 1st at 6 p.m. for an hour and a half. Thursday, May 2nd at 6 p.m. for an hour and a half. Then if you can come to the live class, you will come to Calgary on May 4th or Vancouver, May 11th. If you can't come to the live class, perhaps you'll do it as a video. I'll get the video out as soon as I can. It'll probably be shortly after May 11th, but I may push the Calgary version out in the middle and then send another video set of videos for the Vancouver class. I'm not exactly sure how that will go yet. Then we're also doing the live market scanning in the middle of those two classes. So Tuesday, May 6th till Thursday, May 8th. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I will do those market scanning sessions where we as a group go through the market scans together. We'll practice picking stocks. I'll make you write down your favorites and then I'll go back through them and tell you my favorites and we'll see whose lists are comparable. You'll learn a lot from that just by going through the process. We're gonna spend an hour going through market scans each evening. So how to join? To join, very simple, go to the Stock Scores website go to Trader Training, learn how to trade, and you can sign up right on this page. There's also some videos on this page that go a little bit more detail about the courses, what's all included in those courses. And you can then order Active Trader right there. You can order Investor right there. It adds it to your charge. You'll see their membership costs, $300 yearly. You do not pay that at the upfront. That's you get six months for free. I just want to let you know that that's the annual renewal charge um, for continuing to access those tools. If you don't want to continue to access them, you can cancel at any time. There's no, uh, no problem with that. If you register before Saturday, April 27th at 9 p.m., you'll get the overview classes on May 1st and 2nd and the market scanning webinars on May 6th, 7th and 8th for free. In addition, if you uh, want to register for the Focus Live class, I need you to do that this weekend as well, particularly for the Calgary class, because the caterers uh, need to know numbers. It's a week away, well, 10 days away right now, I guess. And uh, I have to let them know how many people will be coming. And um, so that's, that's the main reason we have that date for April 27th. Course pricing, investor course, 2,495 Canadian, active trader course, 3,495 Canadian. Again, the annual renewal for the tools is $300 a year. If you want to do active live on a monthly basis, your first month is free, and then it's $195 a month. That is money well invested. You will benefit far more than trying to do it yourself. It's cheaper than running TradeStation yourself. It's a cost of doing business if you want to be a, a day trader. And so I highly recommend that you do that and I give you a free month so that you can try it out. The optional add-on, which is the live class in May, is $495 for investor or active trader students. So if you're a past investor or active trader student, you can come to that live class in May for $495. If you register now for the investor or active trader student, you can also come to that class for $495. Don't feel like you're going to be behind, you know, there's lots of learning between now and that class, and then you'll have the theory base down, and then we're going to go through the finer detail at the class. 
And again, if you'd rather do it as a video, it's $3.95. It's a little cheaper because I don't have the cost of catering and, and the room rental. So I'm just going to run a poll real quickly. If you've answered this poll already and you're already on my email list, then uh, you don't need to answer it again. But this is just if you want a follow-up email. Just uh, I, I sent one out today, actually. Just to... Um, let me know that you want a follow-up email with some more details about the class. And as I said, I sent one out today. So if you asked for this in past webinars and you didn't get the email today, I recommend you check in your junk or spam folder because it may have landed in there. Um, email's tough nowadays. So much ends up in spam that I find that a lot of people will say, oh, I, I asked for the email. I never got it. So I'll leave this up for a short while longer and then... Um, I'll bring that down and then I thought maybe we could look at some charts. I, this webinar is going to be shorter than the others. Uh, there's just not as much info to go through. I wanted to keep it fairly concise and quick, but I'm happy to look at some stocks for you in just a moment once we take down this poll. So, okay, I'll take it down in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Thank you for answering. And if you answered yes to either of those, I will send you another email tomorrow. All right, so just a little bit more stuff. Again, how to register. Step one, create a free account at stockscores.com if you don't have one already. Step two, log in. Step three, go to the learn how to trade page. Step four, purchase the course you want. You'll have instant access. It's all automated. So you'll be able to start learning immediately after you register. You'll start being able to use the tools right away, it's all uh, happens right away. And then uh, again, please do that before April 27th as uh, that'll get you that bonus training for free and allows me to communicate with my caterers in a way that doesn't make them mad. So start trading. It's all about understanding what makes stocks move. That's what I'm gonna teach you. These tools allow you to find hot stocks before the crowd, whether you're day trading, swing trading, position trading. Learning risk management is gonna help you to preserve your capital, get your emotions out of it. Ultimately, I wanna give you a plan for when to enter and exit trades, whether you're long or short term, whether you're buying or selling. There are opportunities in the market every single day, whether the market's going up, going down, there's always opportunity. And I'll show you how to find them. There's no shortage of opportunity. You just need the tools and the knowledge to find them. All right, there's my contact information. If you have a um, stock question, I'll take a few. Or if you have a general question, please ask that as well. But while I'm waiting for questions to come in, I'll pull up a couple of stocks here. So t.rog is the first one. That's not coming up. I think maybe it's the venture, t.rog. There we go. No, that's not it either. Um, Sorry, Ron, that, that symbol's not coming up. If you type in the company name for me, I might know what it is, symbol-wise, or we can look it up anyway. If there's any other uh, stocks or general questions, please type them in, and if not, then we will um, quit. Maybe I'll, you know what, just for fun, let's run a market scan together. I, I haven't done this one yet tonight. Let's run the action candle breaks. There's only eight today. Today was kind of a quiet day for trading. So this NUGS actually looks pretty interesting. I'd give this a 6 out of 10. It's breaking its downward trend line with some pretty strong volume today. It's not perfect. I'd like it better if it was coming from a rising bottom, but it, uh, I think it's got some potential at least to keep an eye on the next little while. Don't really like those. No, don't see anything else that I like. Uh, Rocks Gold. So, Ron, I pulled up Rocks Gold, but this, the chart didn't come up. Do you know if it's... I'm just going to check something. I wonder if the symbol has changed. So, we have a tool in here called the Symbol Search right here. I'm just going to put in company name Rocks Gold. Uh, change the symbol to ROXG. That's what the problem is. So ROXG, uh, I think it's a hold. I don't see a reason to buy it, but it doesn't look bad. It's just kind of neutral. The gold sector, I think, has some problems right now. So in that sector regard, I'm not too enthusiastic about it. I don't see a reason to buy it. If you owned it, 
yeah, you stick with it. But if it starts to move down through 80 cents, I'd get a little bit wary. Uh, next question. Could you comment on NXTTF? Sure. NXTTF. So this one broke its downward trend line yesterday. So it would have come up in that action break scan yesterday. It's had a little bit of follow through today. I feel like it's probably going to pull back short term. So this is what I would do with it. Watch the 15 day chart. If it pulls back on the hourly or even the 30 minute chart, if it pulls back for a day or two and then breaks its pullback and starts to move up again. So I'll draw it out for you. Let's say we've done this already and it pulls back for a few days and then breaks the pullback right there, then I think it's uh, interesting to buy. For now, I don't think I would chase it here. I'd wait for it to come back a little bit. So other questions. So to confirm, in order to be an active trader member, it will cost $195 per month. That is incorrect. To be an active trader member costs $300 a year plus the cost of the course. That's $3,495. If you want to do the active live service where you're watching my screen, listening to me talk, getting my real-time trade alerts, that is what is $195 a month. And you get your first month free. Okay, so I just got to close a box here so I can see your other questions. So another question, is it okay if I miss the May 1st webinar I worked that evening? Absolutely, I record all of those webinars. so. You know, the downside is you can't ask a question in the webinar. You have to email me later. But all of those um, bonus training webinars, May 1st and 2nd, and then 6th, 7th, and 8th, those are recorded so you can watch them later. Next question. Oh, this one's morbid. What if you were to die in July of this year? Oh, he even said, sorry to be morbid, just being practical. What would happen to your site? I have had two people ask me this in the last little while. So... Stock scores, I do absolutely nothing to keep the website up. I have programmers in Vancouver and Chicago that do that. The data feeds come from the exchanges. So the charting, the tools, the education, thats I've built all that already. So if I get hit by a truck tomorrow, that doesn't go away. What goes away is I'm not going to teach new people because I teach, right? And if I got hit by a truck tomorrow and you sent me an email saying, what do you think of NXTTF? I'm not going to be there to answer it. So that's your downside. But the tools don't go away, and really the tools are what's important. The education doesn't go away. It's all online. You know, if I got hit by a truck tomorrow, we'd, my wife would probably refund you your live class fee for the Vancouver class because I wouldn't be able to teach it. I uh, cross streets carefully, but I, I understand the point. I mean, it, these, um, you know, these strategies are dependent upon my tools. Even if you're the day trader and you want to use my action candle indicators, I give all that to you so you can be independent. The active live service, you know, I, I run that. It could be run by anyone. It does not gonna have my expertise and my commentary that I do each day, but the actual webinar can run independent of me because it's all automated. What you would miss if I was dead is um, my commentary. So hopefully that gives you a, a little bit of um, comfort you know, the, the Stock Scores website's been around for 20 years, and I have no plans of not having it around. And again, I, I could sell the website tomorrow. It would still be up. Like, it doesn't go anywhere. I, the website doesn't need me. By the way, I'm not planning to sell it. But. All right, next one, BNE, hold or sell. So I'm not sure if you mean the Canadian or U.S. listing. I will assume you mean Bonterra on Toronto. I think it's a hold. I would not buy it right now but i like it i like a lot of energy names what i would look for is it's in a little three-day pullback here so let's go intraday now this is kind of like what we were talking about with namaste so see how it's in this pullback right here this by the way is the 10-day 30-minute chart if that can be broken i'd like it to make a rising bottom and then break to the upside on this 10-day 30-minute chart then i would be a buyer Uh, next one, GXE. Again, I'm going to assume you mean Canadian. And I like this. I think it's a good hold. The buy signal was here. This is called a pennant pattern. Broke out of a pennant. 
I'm going to take a look at the three here just to see if there's any issues. No, I think it's good. I going to just take a look here again. Six month daily. Yeah, I mean, it's pulled back the last few days, but most of the energy names have pulled back in the last few days. I don't know if, if any of you heard me on um, Michael Campbell's radio show, uh, I guess two weeks ago now. I talked about the likelihood that the energy names would pull back near term simply because they had a pretty good little run. And that doesn't, there's nothing wrong with that. Pullbacks are important. They recharge buyer interest. So uh, I'm not surprised at all that they're pulling back. I think they may pull back for a couple more days and then hopefully start to move. All right, another question. Um, has the growth of the sovereign wealth funds investing in the market had any impact on my investing strategy given they hold 12% of the overall market? Um, I don't think so. You know, it's, they, in fact, it probably helps. Large investors leave a trail for us to follow. I've talked about that in a number of the webinars I've done. And so when those large investors come in and accumulate stocks, they do so in a way that's hard to hide. And we can ride their coattails when they do so. And that's really what my strategies are based upon is leveraging or, or you know, feeding off of the large positions that are bought by big investors. Uh, the other night in one of my talks, I talked about a fish called a remora. Remora. A remora, look it up, Google it. It's that little fish that suctions onto the, or swims with the sharks. I don't know if it suctions onto them or just swims with them really closely. But a remora doesn't hunt on its own. It just takes the little tidbits that the shark leaves behind. And that's the kind of trader I am. I, I'm the remora. I follow the big money and I take my little tidbits, uh, which can, you know, add up. But it's uh, you know a really simple way to approach the market because even if those large investors are wrong, the fact that they're buying fifty million dollars worth of stock is going to push that stock up. And even if they're wrong about you know the long term direction of the stock, along the way I can profit by you know getting in when they're getting in. Uh, next question. If one is using an RSP or TFSA account with multiple trades, will Revenue Canada stop you? Uh, in the short term, no. But if you start making lots of money in a TFSA and you're actively trading, doing you know a thousand trades a year, they will eventually say you can't do that. And so, for example, I'm a professional trader by Revenue Canada's standards. That means I don't get capital gains exemption. And so I've set myself up in a corporation and I trade within a corporation so that I, um, I uh, don't get into, you know, offside with the uh, Revenue Canada rules. I, I know lots of people who actively trade in their registered accounts until you start making lots of money. I don't think it's a big deal, but it's not, you know, it's not following the rules. And eventually if you're doing a lot of trades and you're successful, the tax people are going to say, hey, we want our piece and they won't let you do that in a, in a sheltered account. And again, that's for day trading. If you're investing longer term in your registered account, maybe doing 20 trades a year, even 100 trades a year, I think you're probably okay. But you're best to um, ask a tax expert on that. I'm not a tax expert, so take my advice with a grain of salt. Uh, next question. I think you're a wonderful teacher. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. I am so happy I decided to take your training course. Cheers. Well, thanks, Chris. Appreciate that. Uh, CVI breakout. Let's take a look at that one. CVI. Ooh, I like that. On this time frame. Let's take a look at the three year. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not, um, perfect because it's pretty far into the upward trend already but let me just go back to the one year daily here so one issue that we're going to encounter is the fact that it's got these old highs there and it's broken up into that so my expectation is it pulls back for a few days perhaps and then maybe starts to go up again and get through that level so what i would do is i would wait for a pullback and then put a buy stop in at 46 dollars that way, if it pulls back and then it starts to go up again, you get triggered on your buy stop. And that second attempt to get through this resistance will probably be successful. If tomorrow it gapped up to 48 and just runs away, I'd let it go, to be honest. Uh, 
that's all the questions I see. So I think I will end there. This webinar tonight is short and sweet. If you have any other questions, again, I'll put up my email address so you can ask that way. Just fire me an email. Make sure you subscribe to the Stock Scores um, YouTube channel. It's getting fairly popular. And uh, thank you all for joining me tonight. Thank you for joining me at past webinars. You can see them all. All of those webinars have been recorded. You can see them on the Stock Scores YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube, search for Stock Scores, and you'll find tons of videos there. I think I've got 500 videos up there. Thanks, everyone. Have a great rest of the night. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Good night.